Hello guys and welcome to my empties from the month of February and March. I have a ton of stuff in here you guys so let's just go ahead and get right into it. What a wonderful Hope that you guys are liking this little setup i wanted it to feel like a little more of a casual video like we're just sitting here chit chatting <laughs> so i have a ton of empties um as you guys know i moved a week or two ago depending on whenever this video goes up and i did not do an empties video for february because i moved like right at the beginning of march so i have all of my february empties and i have the first like three weeks of march in here too so i've got a ton of stuff for some reason, whenever I got to this new house, like I used up three candles like the first night and I used up some hand soaps right before we moved. So I have a bunch of stuff to show you guys. So let's just get it started, I think with the candles. I finished up three candles and I'll start with the first one I finished, which was Feel Loved Champagne Cupcake. This one is Bath and Body Works and the notes are fluffy cake, whipped vanilla frosting and pink sprinkles. So I used this one around Valentine's Day. As you can see, it was a Valentine's packaging with this beautiful lid, so cute. And the scent was awesome. I really liked it. It was just a very simple, like if you had the vanilla cupcake candle, it's pretty much vanilla cupcake mixed with champagne toast. So it was pretty good. It was, it was a pretty good scent. I will be saving this lid for future use, but yeah, I enjoyed that one. It was pretty, pretty well burning. And then I also finished Wild Berry and Ube at the old house. Um, I really liked this one. It was fresh wild berries, purple ube, and creamy vanilla. Ube was more of like an afterthought though. It wasn't very strong smelling of ube, but ube is not a very strong smelling uh, scent anyways. So I could see how the blackberry would overpower it, but it was really just like a blackberry vanilla candle. And I did still enjoy it. I still liked it. And it was a nice, like, I like this minimal packaging too. I think it's kind of cute. And then at the new house, I did finish off a black teak wood. Like the second night we were here, I pulled this one out. And yeah, she just extinguished herself. This is rich mahogany, black teak wood, dark oak, and frosted lavender. Really like this one. It is a strong thrower for sure. And scents like permeate so much better in this house. You guys, I could have a candle going on the second floor and then you can smell it on the third floor and the first floor. It's so cool. So I really like that. I've been having the Scentsy Warmers like on full blast and I'm just having the time of my life with the scents in this new house. So that has been a really big plus. Okay, getting into hand soaps, we finished off three. I actually finished off two Halloween soaps. So once I finally finished the Christmas soaps, I brought these back out because I I think I put these away. So I like to do seasonal soaps, but if it's not finished by the time it's time for Christmas, I'll just put the Halloween ones away and replace them. So these were both like half empty. And I think I gave this one to Ryan, which is Moonlit Graveyard. It's more of like a unisex kind of scent. It's Tombstone Moss, Cold Foggy Air, and Eerie Incense. It was very incense heavy, not my favorite. And I used Wicked Vanilla Woods, just a, a vanilla scent. <laughs> it's Magical Vanilla, Glowing Amberwood, and Enchanted Pink Pepper. Just super simple vanilla. And then I think in our shared bathroom, we were using Wild Berry and Ube. I really wanted to try this out. Um, I think this one had a little bit more of an Ube scent than the candle. That Blackberry really just is an overpowering um, scent to have in anything. So it smelled more like... Um, berry than anything else but I thought this packaging was really really cute okay body care too I don't know what happened but as soon as I got to the new house I just started using stuff up like crazy so this is from the old house this is tree huts cinnamon dulce shea sugar scrub this was in my project use it up for the winter and I loved it it was so yummy it smelled just like snickerdoodles you guys heard me rave about it uh during the project use it up it's just it was so good I wish I bought a backup just to have for later but I'm so happy that I got to try that one and then I also finished off Apple Macchiato from the fall time. And this one was good. It smelled more like candy than anything else to me. I know it's supposed to be like a coffee and apple scent, but it's definitely not. It's, it's like Jolly Rancher kind of to me. So it was nice to finish off um, going into spring. It was actually a pretty good scent. So really liked that. I also finished off Ice Sugar Plum in February. This was also my project Use It Up. 
It's sparkling sugar plums, snowdrop petals, and whipped marshmallow. I'm sorry if you can hear, there's like a Mustang outside of my house. The only downside of this house is that it's very congested with a lot of people and it gets really loud. So I'm sorry if you end up hearing background noises, but I really like this scent. It's like a very simple berry vanilla, which you guys from the other scents that I've already talked about, you guys know I love. I finished off this Flamingo Foaming Shave Gel. I love my Flamingo Razor, so I thought I'd give this a shot. I just picked it up at HEB at the grocery store and I liked it. It wasn't monumental, but I liked it. I also finished off Pink Chiffon in the body cream. Really, really enjoyed this one. A lot more than I thought I would. Um, I had really never paid Pink Chiffon any mind, but it is Sparkling Red Pear, Jasmine Petals, Tiari Flower, Vanilla Orchid, and Chiffon Musk. It was, again, a very fruity scent. I guess I was going for the fruity scents, you guys. Um, I do tend to like florals that have jasmine in it. I really don't like florals that much, but I guess I do because I like jasmine. So this one was nice. It was like jasmine, vanilla, pear. So it was very good. I really enjoyed that. I would definitely pick up pink chiffon in like more formulations, probably during summer SAS. Another perk of this new house is that I have a massive a uh, soaking tub like it's huge and it doesn't have jets in it which I'm actually pretty happy about so I don't have to try and clean them it's just this big giant bathtub and I'm so happy to finally have a bathtub again after years of not having one so I did finish up a little bubble bath that I had been keeping for a few years this is from the brand Infusia I think I got this at like a trade show and it's the hibiscus water scent yeah it smells good it's uh it smells like hibiscus it's, it's really all it is Apparently it was $3.49, so got that for a deal. And then I did finish a couple minis. I finished off this Vanilla Bean Noel little mini body cream. You guys know I love Vanilla Bean Noel. It's so yummy. So that one I was really enjoying. I also finished off Pure Wonder in the mini shower gel. I think I was like a little bit of the ways through this, so I just decided to finish it up. But Pure Wonder is a really nice scent. I think it's like ice starfruit jasmine or something. I don't know. I like it. It's a really nice scent. So finish that off. I also finished my degree advanced 72 hour motion scents in coconut and hibiscus. I do like this um, degree brand deodorant. This is like the only one that I will buy. I finished off one pocket back in toasted vanilla chai, one of my favorite scents. And then I did finish two mini perfumes, which is not typical for me. And they're both Ariana Grande perfumes, which of course they are because I'm obsessed with her. You guys, her new album. How have I not talked about it yet? Her new album. I cried. I cried when I listened to it. I'm going to be honest. I cried. I love her music so much. And her previous albums were so monumental to my life at the time that when I heard like the, I think... 30 seconds into the intro, I just started bawling. I was like, this is a new era of my life and she's here to sing about it with me. And ugh, she's so nice, you guys. Anyways, I'm not, I'm not gonna talk about her like as a person, but her music, I love, 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 love. So anyways, finished these two perfumes from her. This is Sweet Like Candy in a little mini coffret. Like it's, it's teeny tiny. Um, I've had it since 2018 and I finally finished it. I love Sweet Like Candy though, so I'll probably end up getting a full size soon. And then I finished off Mod Vanilla in the Travel Spray. This one was fine. It was like, whatever. It didn't last long, honestly. Um, and it's not my favorite type of vanilla. It's not very gourmand. To me, I would much prefer to have a vanilla that's more gourmand than this. This is more like a, like a simple clean vanilla. I would much rather smell like a cookie. So best for last, I saved my Fenty Skin little butter drop. This is in warm cinnamon. <sighs> you guys, I got this around Christmas time in December, or I think it, it came out in November in a little gift set with three of them. And one, I love this formula. Two, it had a little bit of shimmer in it. And that was like really fun. And three, this scent combined with the cinnamon dolce, I was a, a snickerdoodle every night. Like, oh my God, it was so good. So I'm really excited to get into the, I think I have the vanilla one that I'm gonna be using next, Vanilla Dream. So excited to try it. So Fenty Skin, she's, she's doing it right. I'm gonna have to try more from her. Okay, I know I said I was using a lot more Scentsy. So I've been using some wax bars up. Honestly, I'm just 
putting in whatever I have. I don't really feel like buying anything right now. So I'm not gonna buy any more wax bars until I've finished off a lot of the ones that I have. So I finished off one from Better Homes and Gardens in Caramel Cheesecake Cookie. This one smells really good. It's very caramely and very gourmand and it just smells super good. I also finished off Sensational's Golden Apple. This reminds me of Champagne Apple and Honey. It's really nice. It's a body care kind of apple rather than like a you'll eat the apple apple. So I love this scent. And then the Haunted Mansion, which this is super cute. This was a like Halloween exclusive. Oh, it's called Three Thumbs Up actually. This was gourmand, but I don't really remember what it is. It's like cinnamon something. So I don't know, but I, but I finished it, okay? And I liked it. <laughs> I did finish off one Wallflower Refill in Mahogany Vanilla. And then surprisingly, I did actually finish a little bit of makeup up. So I finished this Jack Black Lip Balm in Natural Mint. This is my favorite lip balm formula. I have one of these in every single purse that I own. I love the mint one the best, but they do also have a vanilla one that I like and it has SPF. So I feel like that's a good bonus, but I, I love this lip balm so much and I recommend it to everybody. So if you need a good lip balm rec, it's really good. I also finished this Morphe setting spray, which I obviously got from TJ Maxx. <laughs> so I have already repurchased like the full size big one of this because I really like it. And then my poor little NYX HD finishing powder, it's like just in crumbles. The last time I traveled with it, it finally broke and I considered it empty. So I bought a new one. It's literally like $10. I didn't need to keep this for five years and try to finish it. So yeah, I did finish that one. I'm just gonna consider it empty. And I just got it all over myself, great. Next, I've got a little bit of skincare to show you guys. So since I did do a nice bubble bath the other night, I did use some face masks, so I did like a trio. I did an under eye mask, a lip mask, and a face mask. So I did the Tony Moly I'm Peach sheet mask, which I love the Tony Moly sheet mask, they're so nice. And then these two are from My Beauty Spot. I think this is a brand that's sold in like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I got it as a gift for Christmas and that just felt so nice. I never do a lip mask, but it felt really juicy and nice and my face was like super plump, so I felt really good. I also finished off this Body Boom Moisturizing Hydro Cream. This is just a moisturizer. I think this is an Australian brand, so that was nice. I probably wouldn't get it again because I've been really loving Biomas. Is it Bioma? Their skincare recently, so. I also finished off this little mini Cosrx Low pH Good Morning Cleanser. This was a nice little travel size item. I think I brought it with me on vacation in February and finished it off then. And then I also finished my Mary Kay Clear Proof Blemish Control Toner. This is my favorite thing to put on after you've popped a zit. Mm, don't say that. Um, but yeah, after you've done that, cleans the area. I love it. And then I also finished off the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I get these little samples all the time from like Ulta and Sephora and I never know what to do with them. So finally I packed a lot of them with me on my week long vacation and I just used them then. So this is nice to have a little mini, you know, um, hydrating mask to use and I really enjoyed it. Um, I probably wouldn't buy this. I still have a couple, oh, somebody's come to join us. Hello, why don't you say hi to the people? The people? <laughs> I'm just playing with you. I'm just playing with hims. I'm just playing with hims. Okay, you can be my guest star. So anyways, I like this, but I wouldn't buy it. It's uh, very expensive. Okay, last three things. I have some hair items, yeah. I've got this Sebastian Dark Oil, which was like a little mini from Ulta. Just finish it off, it was fine. I'm not picky about hair oils. <laughs> Another hair oil I finished is the Garnier Fertis, uh Marvelous Oil. This is like 10 years old. I finally finished it. Um, it was not very good, but it wasn't bad. But I did purchase the Sol de Janeiro hair oil and it's so good, you guys, and your hair smells so good after you use it. So really happy to have finished all of my hair oils so I could purchase that one. And the last thing I finished is my Living Proof Scalp Care Dry Scalp Treatment. This is my favorite go-to holy grail item. I have a itchy dry scalp problem and this thing just really comes in clutch and saves it. So 
But that's everything for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, I have a bunch of stuff to share with you guys. And yeah, I'm just, I'm doing really good in the new house about finishing things. So it's been very therapeutic to get through like a lot of stuff and finally be able to like downsize my collection. So that's been awesome. So anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.